about this. So the composer of this piece is Pauline Oliveros, and Pauline Oliveros occupies sort of a special place in music. Um, she was a deeply introspective and self-investigating person. During her career as a musician and composer, Oliveros left her position as professor of music in pursuit of creative freedom, essentially a freelancer in upstate New York. And so this is where she developed the ideals of deep listening. Um, Simply put, deep listening is kind of practicing how to listen with your body. It's almost a form of meditation. And the entire later work of Oliveros' output stems from this, including the piece we're about to play, Magnetic Trails. Um, so it isn't explicitly written in here, but my guess is that Magnetic Trails is a reference to magnetoreception, which is the ability to sense magnetic fields, especially as a way to navigate. And you want to think uh, homing pigeons, for example. Um, Oliveros' score for Magnetic Trails is not really a score more than it is a map. And what's more, Catherine and I will be traveling across this map based on our own instincts. So... You can kind of see to the side of me what the score is, that map. And in the corner, you'll see the score written like a compass. Um, in the middle, you'll see the word free, indicating free improvisation. And around that, you'll see the words listen. And then on the outer rim, you see several uh, intention words like combine or microtonal that are marked with letters. So to guide you through the performance of this piece, Catherine and I are actually going to be indicating where each of us are on the map at any point. I will be putting up cards, and Catherine is going to be indic indicating with her foot, um, uh, and each of us showing what letter we are on at any time. So... Um, Magnetic Trails is a four movement piece, and each movement is a compass direction, so starting with east, going to south, west, and ending with north. And each movement asks the performers to interact with the map in a different way. So as we perform this piece, I encourage you to listen with deep listening. And though we are showing you where we are on the map, I wouldn't spend too much time trying to figure out what it is we are doing. Catherine and I are constantly listening to each other and making choices based on what we're hearing. And so moving across the map accordingly. So I would just say, you know, let the sounds of our instruments come to you as they are. Thank you and I hope you enjoy.
Thank you. 